Pete Clark here with the 2017 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 4A. So the four says uh, this question involves reasoning about a two-dimensional 2D array of integers. You will write two static methods, both of which are in a single enclosing class named successors, which is not shown. These methods process a 2D integer array that contains consecutive values. Each of these integers may be in any position in the 2D integer array. For example, a 2D integer array with three rows and three columns, three rows, zero, one, two, four columns, zero, one, two, three, contains the integers five through 16 inclusive. So it starts at five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have all the numbers from five to 16 um, inclusive, including five, including 16, and no skipping. So that's the setup of this 2D integer array. So that's what is given. And I have another class called position which is used to represent positions in the integer array. Uh, positions are going to be RC, row and column, and the constructor takes a row and takes a column. And they don't show us anything else, we're just going to use that constructor basically. Um, part A says to write a static method, find position. I set it up in my reflet over here on the right. Um, it will take an integer value, num, and a 2D integer array, int r, so my two two uh, parameters and we'll return the position so it returns a position object um, of the integer in the given in the given 2d array if the integer is not found it will return null so for example using this example up here um, if i try to find a position eight it'll return the position object to one because it's in row with the index two and column with the index one so two, one. If I try to find 17, there's no 17 because it only goes up to 16. So then it'll return no. And then the next page is where I write the answer and nothing really extra to say down there. The precondition is that there will be at least one row and everything else has been stated already. So I'm gonna work on it. First thing I know is that I want to find I want to loop through every element in the matrix. So I know my matrix loop is for int r starts at zero, r less than my matrix name, int r, the length of that, if I can type it out, and then r plus plus. Then I want to loop through the columns. So the same thing, except I use c, and I'm going to say the number of columns is int r bracket zero dot length. So I'm assuming this is a rectangular matrix, which is given to us in the, I think the, the class says all 2D arrays will be rectangular. So I can assume the first row has the same number of col columns as every subsequent row. So I'm looping through the rows, looping through the columns, and I want to say if I found it, if the current element, current element would be int r, bracket r, bracket c. If that equals the number I'm looking for, so the number from the parameter. So that num and that num, should, if it's a found, so this is the current element. If it's found, I want to what? set up the result. So I always like setting up the result first, so I know I have to return a position, because it says in the method uh, signature position, and I just use the word result almost all the time. And so I need to make the position, so I say new position, and I use the row and the column from my looping around. So I, I want if I find it, I have RC, RC is my current element, so that's my position, RC, that I want. And then I just have to return the result. And I know you can do it on, on one line or fewer lines, but I like setting it up with this structure in mind. Okay, one thing I forgot is, or I didn't forget, but I haven't done yet, is I have to return null if um, it's not found. So when it's not found is when I'm done with all the loops. So after all the loops, I need to say return null. That is when it's not been found. So if I find it, I return and I break out of the loop when I return. Otherwise, I complete the loops 
and then I haven't found it, so I return no. So that's the 2017 AP Computer Science A FRQ 4A.